Hi, I'm Sonya Intuitive Being Person. This is a collective reading for Sagittarius. So, don't try and force the crown to fit. It might belong to a different king or queen. You know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So, only take what resonates, leave the rest to someone else, and know that this can be flipped around with the person you're dealing with. And please be careful of scammers. You know, uh, I will not reach out f for a paid reading. You have to reach out to me first. And please do not click on any weird little looking links in the comment section. So these cards that I'm using here are Mystic Dreamer Tarot by Heidi Duras and Barbara Moore. And these ones here are Rider Waite Tarot by Pamela Coleman Smith. It looks like somebody at the moment is watching you. Somebody is spying. Somebody is stalking. They're seeing you and just contemplating and thinking, oh, look at that person. It looks like you've actually ended some sort of toxic, sort of toxic situation recently. This is an addiction. You could have been tied to something that wasn't good for you. Something you kept going back to, like it could have been, you know, maybe a toxic relationship. Could have been addictions, drinking, gambling, you know, smoking and all that stuff. Um, but it also can be about codependency or obsessive thinking even. Something that's kept you stuck and tied to this thing. So it looks like you have cut out this toxic thing that you have been tied to. And maybe this toxic thing is watching you as you move forward. Hmm. So this person actually could be also wanting to come in and speak to you. So this could be somebody... This could be... So they've seen that you've cut out this past toxic environment or situation. They could be a Virgo, and they could be new love as well. So they could be that they see you as the mentor, they see you as a teacher, someone that's watching you and seeing that maybe they wanted to come and offer you this cup of love here. This could be a new relationship here, something that you have manifested. This is you playing through the magic wand, and things are growing. So this is a message about new creation. This is a message about um, passionate new beginnings. You planted the wand there, and it's growing. And, you know, things are coming. Things are coming in for you. After you cut out this toxic situation in the past, especially. So this is Virgo energy. This is somebody that shines the light for others. So you have probably healed enough. You know, you've gone with an into hermit mode. You've taken time out to heal. You really have healed from this toxic situation you've had in the past. And now you're attracting a new love. So this is also love of yourself as well. So this is like filling your own cup so that you are ready to give... To someone else when the time is right but you're shining the light for others others see you as a mentor they look up to you they they you know come to you for help sometimes you know when they need and um so somebody has seen you is watching and is interested this could be the past person that is watching you the toxic person or something from the past or it could be someone new it looks like there's new love watching you for sure so the influence here, which has been possibly a challenge or something that's good. This is temperance here. So this is like things becoming more balanced. This is like you're pouring into your own cup here. Things have been quite emotional, but things are balancing out now. But it looks like there's been this um, masculine, masculine energy here who you've been dealing with that has caused you a bit of strife, a bit of trouble. And it could be that you didn't really trust your intuition or this other person didn't trust the intuition. But now it's like, you know, because this person is very intuitive, someone that could, you know, has gifts, you know, being able to sort of see the truth of things. Somebody that could be a tarot reader or a psychic, you know, psychic medium, something like that. So this person here, they didn't trust the intuition. They didn't see that, um, that there was value in you. And they were probably quite controlling as well. So this person could be an Aries as well. And, um, but things are balancing out here and it's like the tower is falling for this person because they didn't trust the intuition about you they, and so like you've had to end something here and now the tower has fallen. So this is people that are falling out of the tower because it's been built on a uh, faulty foundation. Things are not being built on solid foundations so everything is crumbling. So in the distant past you've had new love. So this could be a new someone that's a new love that's, that had come in for you. Somebody that you thought was a soulmate, somebody that was a, um, someone, for a past love, you know, someone from the past, or this is actually like past lives as well. So it's new love that you thought was uh, a soulmate to you, and it looks like that they, they actually, so this card before you had was like a teacher, this is somebody that is a, um, you know, a mentor to others, but this person 
they were not a very good teacher to you, it looks like. So they ended up sort of not um, standing up and not really um, putting in the work. So it's like this could be somebody that's a Virgo, but it's like they were not a very good teacher to you. And so this is you starting out on a new journey, starting out on a new beginning. This could be that you're calling a new soulmate because this past person who was meant to be a soulmate did not treat you right and had, and actually did not do what a teacher or mentor should do. And they actually looked like they possibly went elsewhere to build. And this is so this is you starting a new journey. This is spirit giving you this coin here that is a blessing for you to start a new new sort of beginning. So immediate past, somebody is trying to hold on to you or you're trying to hold on to this situation. Something where someone has got this poverty mindset and now it's like somebody is wanting to hold on to something. So this here looks like there's been betrayal. Somebody has been um, dishonest. Maybe it's that they walked away from you when you needed them the most and it's kind of and it had you in a poverty mindset. So this is like um, somebody that's really struggling. So it could be that this other person is struggling because they went elsewhere and started to build elsewhere. They walked away and they um, sort of like turned it back on you when you needed them. And so it's like had you really quite upset. So now it's like they wanted to come back. They wanted to hold on to you now that they've walked away. So it's like because looking at this recently you have really started building something new. You've manifested something new. This is you building so this is actually people working together so this is like this is like a team here working together other people looking up to you as well so this is you really uh, being the mentor for others and showing the way how to do this and this is you manifesting and there's also ships coming in here so you are manifesting this new beginning you're, you're surveying and you're seeing things coming in for you so this person here as well is very abundant so this person's good in business so you have set out and you started this new amazing business here where you are financially stable. This is somebody that's a mothering, nurturing energy, someone that's very loving. So other people do see you as a really good mentor that they can come to when they're needing help. And this is why somebody else is trying to hold on to you. But if it's you as well that's kind of holding on to this past situation, know that you are building something new and that you don't need to hold on to anything in the, from the past, especially if it's not serving you, and that you're going to be financially stable because you are this energy here. This is also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So there's Virgo as well there. But it's financial, uh, someone that's very financially stable. That's got a nurturing energy. So you're thinking about this moving forward. So this is you really moving forward. This is Cancer energy. Um, it looks like that you're moving forward looking for new love. This is like celebrations. This is union. This is union with your um, perfect match. This is a soulmate energy too. So this could be that you are coming into union with somebody that is this beautiful energy. This is feminine energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this person could be a counsellor or healer, somebody that is very caring. So this could be friendship as well. So this is you thinking about moving forward and celebrating with new friends and new soul soulmates. So this is like soulmate energy. So this is like you coming together with your soul family. And like children here as well, like so really people from past lives and celebrating together and really happy times. So you're really wanting to move into happier times here instead of the past toxic energy situations. In the future here, you got this loving relationship coming in. This is a healing relationship. This is where two people are coming together that will heal um, each other's hearts because this is also balancing of the scales. So this is like a balance, you know, balancing. So like from this past situation where you've been quite hurt. This is the balancing of the scales. It could be with a um with a Libra here, a Libra as well. This is like new love as well. So you have a new love coming in that would like to um to have a relationship with you. Somebody that's wanting to come in and give you this ever flowing cup of love. And this here is also wish fulfillment. So you have done a lot of healing on yourself. So you're getting blessed with this new love here that's coming in in the future for you wow you're fearing walking away from somebody this looks like there could be somebody that was kind of cold so this could be uh, somebody that's libra gemini aquarius um so this is somebody that can be a little bit sort of stubborn but they're also very logical so this person can be um quite intelligent as well but it's like They've been quite cold, so it's like you probably have had to go into your masculine energy and cut this per person out using your sword, and so you're kind of nervous about moving forward from this 
Because there's also been betrayal. So this person has walked away from you, possibly, or you've had to walk away from them. But they've also taken all the swords here. So it's like you're at this crossroads here when you haven't really decided to move forward. So this is you needing to make a decision. Take that blindfold off and really make a decision what you want to do. Because you were keeping yourself stuck here, focusing on this past disappointment. This could be that someone else didn't see the gift that you were presenting them. And they were too busy f focusing on the past and sulking too much and kind of stubborn. That they didn't take the gift that you're giving. So this is you moving forward from this situation. This is you going into something new and just choosing yourself, loving yourself more. Because this has been a lot of hard work. And this is you walking towards something new, some new love. That's healing, healing love. So this is, um, you're working very hard as well. So this could be also someone that you can work with. Someone that is caring, loving, and like this is a healing relationship again that's coming in here. That you're walking towards once you walk away from this past situation where this person didn't value you. So this here is soulmate energy. So other people see you as this loving soulmate somebody that could be a really good mother um someone that they would maybe there's somebody that knows you from the past who's been watching you someone that would like to come back to um to sort of connect with you this is very abundant energy as well so this person looks like they have um like this person is very abundant so this is not only about money though abundance this is masculine energy as well that somebody that has seen you maybe who is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, somebody that would like to come in and offer you marriage, it looks like. So they see you as their soulmate, and they would like to come back and sort of have a stable relationship with you. But someone, so they're also wanting to have passion with you. So somebody was, is trying to manifest being with you, coming to sort of be able to see you. They see you as the mother of the children, someone that they see as a soulmate. And they see you as their wish fulfillment as well. They see you as their wish fulfillment and that they the cups are full of love for you so this is somebody that has really seen you and they could have a job as a counselor or a healer and they really um got it bad for you but it looks like that you could yeah you're you're this loving energy who they see as your soulmate as the soulmate so this is page of pentacles so this is like you're hoping that you can be financially stable you're hoping there's a new beginning here a new financial beginning but it looks like that you have had to cut out some people here from the past. And this is Libra, Gen of Gemini, Aquarius energy, feminine energy, someone that's really good in business, someone that's very intelligent and very logical as well. So there's somebody that is feeling a little bit wounded that you've cut them out. And they're feeling a bit sad. They're feeling trapped in their situation as well. And they're watching as you move forward into this new beginning. And they're really kind of feeling it now. This person could have been kind of, you, maybe you could have, that person could have been your masculine energy, somebody that you thought was uh, your counterpart, but they could have been a little bit controlling as well because they really liked to have things their own way. But it's like you've had to cut out this person. They're feeling quite wounded. See, this person looks the same as that person there. So this is Aries energy as well and fire sign energy. So uh, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. Well, this could be you, Sagittarius, but no. Um, I see that you have cut out this person here, and they're feeling quite sad and wounded by it. And it's also that this is judgment. So they're getting judgment for the way that they treated you in the past. The judgment is that you are getting this blessing here. So you're hoping that you can have a financial new beginning, and it looks like you are. Spirit is blowing the horn, and you're getting blessed while this person is getting judgment. So the judgment is that they get to watch you move forward into this new financial stability where you're getting blessed with this new beginning because they were too stubborn to try and work on things properly. So the outcome is this building something new. This is like other people seeing you building something new. They're looking up to you. They're seeing you creating your own world. And it looks like you've had to um, cut out some sort of player energy here and that somebody that has been hot and cold and has really just uh, betrayed you, walked away when you needed them most. And now you're building something new. You're leaving this person who was hot and cold and indecisive in the past. And it looks like they miss out on this um, this opportunity with you. Because this is uh, generational wealth. This is like uh, wealth which can last a gener generation. So this person is missing out on this. And they're seeing as you're building something new. And they're kind of really kind of upset about this. 
because you are this very financially stable person here. This person is very good Taurus Capricorn, somebody that can be really well in business and somebody that's very nurturing and loving. Other people see you as very loving. And you are going up in financial stability. So you're work, working so hard and you're independent here. Well, you worked so hard in your garden, you know, worked on everything so much. You've cut out these past situations which have been bad for you, toxic. You've tamed this bird on your hand like you've tamed the inner beast. So you have done so much work and it's paying off now and like you're so abundant. So this is you creating something new where you are the creator of your world and you are cre creating absolute abundance while other people miss out on this opportunity to be a part of your life. So this is quite sad for them, but it's really beautiful for you. So very happy for you. Bye.